You know, humans have a long and treasured history of murdering each other. I could just be a cynic and say war is bad, but like that Japanese guy once said, there's a certain art to war. In the midst of the mindless killing and scarring, you've got national pride, deliciously racist American propaganda, and of course, really cool weapons. In no particular order, here's five of the most pimpin' weapons I could find on the internet. So which weapon will be the most killalicious? How long will it take before people realize that I'm just reading things from Wikipedia? These questions and more will be answered tonight. Or today, I guess. It's still pretty bright out. Guess it really depends on when you're watching this. Have you ever been murdering someone and you're like, Oh gee, stabbing this person is so much fun, but I wish there was a cooler way to do it. Well, little nugget, I've got the weapon for you. It's called the Roman Scissor, and it may or may not have actually existed. I am willing to put this list's integrity on the line to include this thing, though. It's a metal blade that certain gladiators swung around with in the arena. I mean, seriously, just look at that guy. The blade and tube combo reminds me of when you were little and you put your arm in those long cardboard boxes, and once you were done slicing the guy's throat out, the Roman Scissor could be used as a lovely spade for gardening. If ancient gardening equipment isn't your cup of tea as a weapon, I've got a lovely alternative for you. Some of the greatest and most impractical weapons have been created by lazily combining two pre-existing weapons and throwing away all that nonsense about practicality or usefulness. Hence, the gun shield. Created for Henry VIII's bodyguards, these weapons were grossly ineffective in combating the enemy. The shield screwed up everything about the weapon, from balancing to aiming. But hey, sacrifices had to be made. King Henry VIII had the most pimped out bodyguards he could possibly get, and that's a plus. Up next, we have an old fan favorite. I'm sure you're very familiar with the Byzantine Empire. Succeeding Rome, it maintained control of the waters through the use of Greek fire. These ancient flames stuck to the waves and could make the water mortally dangerous faster than you could say BP. But the recipe for Greek fire was a royal secret and was lost centuries ago. That didn't stop the Union, though, from trying their darndest to recreate it during the American Civil War. An inventor named Levi Short created a mixture that resembled the legends, but it was sadly impractical because it had the tendency to explode while still on the ship carrying it. I say the Union wasn't thinking out of the box enough. If your ship turns into a raging inferno, pull a Spanish armada and kamikaze that crap into the enemy fleet. There's more than one way to start a fire, even if it starts on your ship. Up next we have the katana, or as it's known in Japan, the katana nana. I know this really doesn't fit on the list because it's practical and fairly common for its era, but still, it's a katana. Give Uma Thurman one of those and she could kill, like, everyone on Earth. The metal used to make one of those is so bad that European metal workers don't even want to use it. That doesn't stop good old-fashioned Japanese perseverance, though. They'll bonsai the pants off of you faster than you can say hello, kitty. Speaking of Japan, the atomic bomb. Psh, I'm not gonna include something so cliche on this list, don't worry. At number one, we have the atomic bomb's distant cousin, the bat bomb. It was never actually used in battle, but its weirdness could not be passed up. The plan was to have a small incendiary device attached to the bats. They would be released from above during the day. The bats would immediately go to a dark place within the city. Then the devices would detonate, causing mass fire and destruction. As I said before, the bat bomb was never actually used in battle because of that stupid atom bomb which showed up later and proved to be much more effective. Stupid nuclear bombs and cold war took all the fun out of fighting. Oh bat bomb. You may have never burned any cities, but you sure lit a spark in my heart. If you ever think that the US military is too strong or too powerful, please remember that a few decades ago we almost threw bats at the enemy and expected something good to happen. Well, that's it for another completely pointless top 5 list. Remember to subscribe for more, and check out my book reviews for more carling-rific antics.